hey you guys, I'm going to be dyeing some of our b, b Express hair. I'm not going to be talking too, too much because I don't want to get copyrighted with the music. But just watch, I'll do a voiceover for you guys to see. I left the left on red cause I felt like it. Just me down in the rest in the wrong jacket. Dapper, dapper, I look all right, you guys, so first things first, I'm going to show you what I'm using today. I'm using the Adore hair dye in the color Electric Lime. I'm also using that Pump It Up hair spritz to um, lock the knots so that the lace doesn't get stained by the hair dye. So this is a little hack that I've learned and I found that works. So I'm spraying that on the lace as you see me doing here. And then I'm going to let the frontal sit so that I could work on the bundles just to ensure that that spritz, you know, dried on it or whatever. So as I'm doing this, I'm on Instagram Live, if you can tell in the little corner on my laptop where my phone is. So I'm trying to be, you know, everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Global, internet, no, I'm just kidding. So here's the hair that I'm using today. It is the B&B Express hair. We have amazing sales on this hair at our store. Here I am showing you the bundles and stuff like that. Make sure to check out Beauty Exchange Orlando Facebook page and Instagram to get updates on our hair and sales and stuff like that. Here's a little quick, you know, rundown on the sales of this B&B hair. Pause it, screenshot it, do whatever you gotta do. But, okay, so this is not the first time I'm doing a coloring hair video. Here's just, you know, me showing you what I'm doing. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, I'm not going to talk too, too much because, I mean, it's self-explanatory like I just said. So just make sure when you're dyeing 613 hair that you are making sure you get through each strand, which is why I'm unraveling the bundles to make sure that my fingers are coating every strand, as you're going to see a little bit later on. Make sure you're not leaving any patches of blonde because it will show through. Okay, we don't want to make it look like we was bald or we was lazy. Just if you're going to do the dye job, 613 is already making it easier for you so you don't have to bleach or anything. So just make sure you're going through each strand evenly you know it's very tedious so just take your time and do what you got to do so i guess i'll come back when i get to the frontal portion of it but for now just i guess just watch my hands work watch me work just be satisfied chill out listen to the music and just enjoy the transformation of this hair okay okay One thing I just wanted to say real quick, I have made about 35 to 40 wigs with um, different hair dyes. Um, mainly Adore though. I found Adore works the best for me. I love it so much. It smells so good. It doesn't leave the hair smelling chemically processed. It just smells so good and it just, you know what I'm saying, it does the job. Um, I have used Kiss. I like the Kiss dyes as well, but the Adore I would prefer first. Um, so yeah, I just want to come by and let y'all know real quick, you know what I mean? So if you can imagine how long it took me to do just this one bundle, so I didn't want to show you guys every single bundle on camera because it's pretty much the same darn thing. So I didn't want to waste nobody's time, you know what I'm saying? You know, time is money. Baby, don't waste my time. Waste my... No, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, y'all. I'm trying to have fun. Okay, so I had customers coming up asking questions and looking and stuff like that. So I want to do, you know, incorporate that in the video here and there, you know what I'm saying?
So now I am preparing for the frontal. I low key got it on the table. Uh, I was trying to not get it on the table with a plastic bag, but clearly that didn't work. So I'm trying. Um, shout out to my girl Candace, Confident Candy on Instagram, y'all. She taught me a hack that if you do get, you know, any hair dye on your counters or anywhere, just put rubbing alcohol on it, let it set, and it'll just wipe right off. So life lesson. Um, okay, so now I'm doing the frontal. And usually I kind of do my frontals with a brush, but sometimes I don't want to do that because it just be taking so long and it just be so annoying. So I just wanted to go in with my fingers. You know what I'm saying? Hands on, hands on. So I'm just going in and, you know, coating the bottom half of the frontal. And then you're going to see me turn the frontal to the side and go through the roots and then et cetera, et cetera. Like I said, if you're spraying this with hair spritz or got to be spray, the lace is going to be fine, sis. It's going to be fine. Don't be afraid to, you know, get the roots colored because if you don't get down to the root, you're going to have blonde roots and it's going to look tacky. Then you're going to have to use eyeshadow, which is not a bad hack, but just save yourself the time and effort. You know what I'm saying? on the beat. As I'm getting to the end of the coloring video, I just wanted to tell you guys, I thought I would only need two bottles because the b, &B Hair Express isn't that, you know, full. But I ended up using three bottles and a half of one. So three and a half bottles, okay? Yeah, I used almost four bottles, okay? Um, we have some deals and sales in the store, like I said, but yeah.
I washed out the hair and this is what I got, you guys. Literally, just wait for the review when I have the install the hair installed in my head. This hair surprised me. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the Royal Touch Frontal, you guys. I have some good things to say about it, so stay tuned for the hair review and the install. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Peace.